Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from an image. So I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way requires the Windows 10 operating system. And the second way you can use it from anywhere, from any operating system for free. So let's say I have uh, these two images of Sheldon and I want to remove this green background from his image. So I just want this body and I don't want this green uh, background here. Also for this image, I want to remove the background. You can have your own image and uh, let's say you just want to uh, remove the background and you want to save this image uh, with the face which you have by you. So let's see the first way in which you require the Windows 10 and then we will see the next way. So on Windows 10, there is an app called Paint 3D. So search for Paint 3D and you will be able to see uh, this app here. This comes pre-installed on all the Windows 10 operating systems. So I'm going to just open this app here and then click on new and then I will just simply uh, drag one of these images. Let's say I want to just remove the background from this image. So I will just drag and drop this image into the Paint 3D app. And now what I can do, I can just click on this option which says Magic Select. Okay, so just click on Magic Select here. And now once Magic Select is uh, selected, you just need to click on the next button. So just click on next and Magic 3D will try to uh, remove the background, but it's not very intelligent. So you have the option to select your image and you have the option to remove the background. So you can have the option to select what you want to remove and you have the option what you want to add, right? So here you can see the face is uh, selected, but I want to remove this green background, right? So I have this option to remove. So I will just select remove from here and then I will just draw a line here which I want to remove, right? So here this uh, green background is removed, but still uh, there is this green uh, background here. Once again, I can select on the remove option and then uh, draw a line here, which is going to remove that uh, green background once again. Okay, so now I have this uh, Sheldon face, but still I want to have this neck and the t-shirt part of this image. So I will just click on the add this time and then I will draw a line on the part I want to add. So I will just add that and now I can see the neck is there. Same I will do for the t-shirt and now I can see this t-shirt is also added here. So now this green background is removed and now the image which I want to have is uh, visible here. Okay, so once you are done with this uh, magic select, then you can just click on the done button. And once you do that, see the magic, you can just uh, move this uh, face which you have selected in your image, right? So now you can just uh, right click on this uh, face image and then you can copy it and you can use this. So for example, I have uh, the, this email, I will just uh, paste this image and I can also resize it on my email. So if I want to send this uh, image by email, I can send it. I can also open the, the normal paint app and then save this image and then click on crop and then save this image as a PNG file also. Also, I have this word app there also. I can uh, just paste this image and then uh, I can resize uh, this image. Now let's say I want to save this image into a PNG format or JPEG format. So what I can do, I can once again go to uh, this uh, Paint 3D app. Once again, just copy this image. So before doing anything, just copy this image and then just click on menu and then click on new. And you can just say, I don't want to save this and then you can paste the image which you have copied, which is this one. And then you can resize the image uh, 
according to this canvas here and then you have the option of saving the image so you can once again go to the menu and then click on save as and then click on uh, image and then you will be presented this option you can choose the format in which you want to save your image uh, the PNG format works best for the transparent images also you have the option to click on this uh, option which says transparency and this is going to save your image as a transparent image so you can see these pixels which are removed from the image right once you are done you can just click on save and then choose the location wherever you want to save your image and i will just uh, give the name for example transparent background sample one and then click on save which is going to save my image and now you can see my image is saved so i can use this image anywhere else for example i will just copy this image from here and once again i will go to my uh, word app i will remove the image which i have copied earlier and you can paste it directly right so in this way you can save the image into the png format and then use it now let's see the second option of removing the background from your image in which you don't require windows operating system what you need is any browser so just go to your browser and search for remove background online and the best website which i found out is the first option here which is called remove.bg i'm going to put the link of this website in the description of the video also so you can directly go to uh, this website so i will just open this website here and what you need to do you just need to simply uh, upload your image so i'm going to just click on upload and then i can choose any image from here so let's say i will uh, choose this sheldon one image from here and it will be uploaded and just wait for a few seconds and now in few seconds you will see uh, this uh, result with the removed background and it looks very nice right so you can just uh, download this image and then you can uh, just uh, see this image and you can see the background is totally removed from this image so once again i can uh, use this image anywhere where i want so i can just copy this image and then drag and drop to my word app and it looks like this or i can use it on my email and it's going to look like this so you can use uh, this trick also to remove the background from your images so how simple it is so in these ways you can remove the background from your images I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.